I'm Peter with ProLifeNews.tv and ProLife Unity, and I'm with Kristen Hawkins. We're here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, not long ago, we were in Washington, D.C. Uh, you've had this effort going supporting the uh, black population with defund Planned Parenthood, and there was one here. What what is uh, what is this building we're in front of, and why are we in front of this building? Well, we're in front of the Duke Energy Center, uh, which is the hosting site for the NAACP convention this year. Uh, tonight, Senator Barack Obama is going to be addressing the NAACP uh, historic moment uh, in African American history. And why uh, would so many people come out here? What reason is that to uh, come out to uh, have a message at a press conference right in front of this building? Sure. Well, we, we've been having defund Planned Parenthood events in Washington, and we decided to move it to Cincinnati this time to ask the NAACP to join us in our campaign uh, to call on Congress to investigate and defund Planned Parenthood. The NAACP is the largest organization dedicated to African American rights. What better right is there than the right to life? And what does that mean, defund Planned Parenthood? For people who might not know, uh, what kind of funds does Planned Parenthood get? Sure. Planned Parenthood receives over $300 million every year from the federal government taxpayer money. They receive Title X funds, and they receive Medicaid funds. Um, they are the largest recipient of Title X funds uh, in the federal government, and they just happen to be the largest provider of abortions in the country. We are calling on Congress to investigate and defund them. They are a 501c3. They do not pay any taxes, but yet they grossed over a billion dollars last fiscal year, and they ended the year with a surplus of over a hundred million dollars. It doesn't sound like an organization that needs federal funding. And also, um, you're talking about the NAACP, uh, they're a 501c3, mm -hmm. Planned Parenthood's a 501c3, uh, the NEA is a 501c3, mm -hmm. or at least uh, are supposed to abide by certain laws and not endorse candidates. They all have endorsed Barack Obama. Well, I don't know, has NAACP endorsed because Senator McCain is speaking as well. Yeah, okay, I saw a sign inside that had Obama. The sign, I didn't see one for The McCain. sign inside is certainly seems like an endorsement. Okay. I don't know if they've officially endorsed Barack Obama. Mm. Planned Parenthood has officially endorsed Barack Obama. And so has the NEA. So has the NEA. They've, they've all, both of them, have officially endorsed Barack Obama for president. Not allowed to do that by a 501c3, correct? No. Okay. I cannot endorse a political candidate. Okay. So what can people do? What would, uh, you, you know, you've got a message. What can sure. they do about it? Well, we're using this as a wake-up call for Congress. We've had congressional meetings. When we were in Washington, D.C. in June, we sat down with over eight different congressmen that afternoon and talked to them about our reasons for why Planned Parenthood needs to be investigated and defunded. We need people to call on their representatives to join us in this fight. They need to call the representatives, tell them to co-sponsor and sign on to H.R. 4133, which is the Pence bill which would defund Planned Parenthood of Title X funds only. It wouldn't defund them of all federal funding, but Title X funds. And then they need to ask their congressmen to support an investigation of Planned Parenthood. And where do they go for more information? They can go to our website, studentsforlife.org, where we have videos of the past two defund Planned Parenthood events, and we'll have this video up in about a week. And there's also information about Planned Parenthood and racism, and information for where else to find more information, get more involved in this movement. Great. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you, Appreciate Peter. you taking the time. I'm Peter of ProLife Unity and ProLifeNews.tv. We're wrapping up here in Cincinnati, Ohio at the NAACP convention. There's plenty of folks milling around. We'll see if we can find someone else to, to interview.